Okay, me and Raleigh are back in the kitchen, and um, you know, my Raleigh is a born and raised South Carolina little girl, and anybody in South Carolina learns at this young age how to take care of shrimp. Shrimp is one of our most precious resources here in South Carolina, and we treat it well. We love it. So um, her daddy, or her grandfather, actually, went down um, and got these shrimp fresh from the boat. So these are the real deal South Carolina water shrimp. And they are wonderful. Butterfly. And we are actually tonight gonna make shrimp alfredo. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to clean shrimp. Now, most of the time when you buy it, um, you buy it in the store and it is deveined and the tails are off. But that's what it looks like. And show them to take this, and she's going to take this shell off because these were headed. We didn't have to get them with the heads. What I do is so, I keep the ends and I kind of put my thumb under it, and then I just break it back. And it peels all the skin off. You can see that. Including the arms. Right. And then what we do, you know, there are all kinds of fancy schmancy uh, shrimp cleaning things, and um, a fork works. So we take a fork and we run it down the back. Like this. I have to do the opposite. Belly then the back. Well, you can do the belly then the back. Well, either way. And what we're doing is we're taking this vein out right here. See this uh, black vein? That's what we're taking out. Black or blue. Black or blue, exactly. That is the intestines, let's just say. And then you do the same on the flip side, on the bottom side. You take your your fork and you run it through. That was a big one. And then here, again, there's the shrimp vein right there. And um, it won't hurt you to eat those, but we don't. No, no, no. So you take it. You take the shrimp tail or the the skin off. Pull it out of the case. And then run your your fork through the top all the way back and pull your vein. See the vein? And you do it on the top and the belly. So I'm going to flip it this way. Now, again, when you buy it in the grocery store, this is done for you. When you buy them fresh in the grocery store, if it's not done for you, you can ask it to be done for you. And of course. A lot of times you have to pay to have it done. Ew, I got poop in mine. <laughs> but that's pretty much what it is, baby. So that is what we're going to do. And we're going to get these all. Um, and here's the other thing. I leave the tail piece if I'm frying it. But if I'm putting it in a dish such, like I'm going to do shrimp alfredo, um, I always take the tail because you don't need that. The tail to me is the handle. And um, if you're not going to handle it, then you don't need the tail. So, um, so as soon as I can wash my hands, I'm going to shut the camera off and we're going to finish these things up and then we will be back to you when it's time for us to make our shrimp alfredo, which is very simple too. And you got to wash it. All right. So we'll see you in just a few minutes. All right, so that's how you clean shrimp. Go to our next video for what kind of salad? We're going to make a caprese. Caprese salad. A caprese. We're going to make. We're making. We're making shrimp fettuccine. So shrimp fettuccine we're Alfredo. We're gonna make shrimp fettuccine Alfredo. Alfredo. With those shrimp. With these. And we'll show you that in a shrimp. separate video. We'll show you that in a different video. And then we're going to make it a caprese salad. We're going to make a, we're going to make a caprese salad. And salad dressing. And salad dressing. Bye-bye. So we'll be back in a bit.